Hey everyone, uh, Jessica from the Zara Report again. Um, welcome to our final episode in our Road to the Runway series. So far we have talked to beauty gurus and editors and bloggers and jewelry designers and it was all leading up to this grand finale because right now I am backstage live at the Rachel Zoe Spring 2014 show. Ah! Um, we are just about 30 minutes until uh, the show and I am actually hanging out with some of my favorite people in fashion who I'm going to introduce you to now. We have the creative director from Who What Wear, Catherine Power. Hi Jess. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm crazy over here. Um, yeah. <laughs> and next we have uh, Rachel's makeup guru and bestie, Joey Malou. Hi Jess. How are you gorgeous? <laughs> Good. Um, and finally, we have the style director of Pop Sugar, Meg Kuna. Hi, Jess. You look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I, I can't see you guys, but I know you guys look amazing, too. <laughs> um, so tell me, what are you guys thinking about Fashion Week so far? Oh, there's been so many great shows. Um, Joey and I were just talking before we started about um, how beautiful Altazara was. Um, the, you know, the... The clothes are always great. I love sort of the like French stripes, um, and the makeup look was super cool too. It was kind of like a white eye, and then just a great, really bright red lip. Um, so that was definitely one of my favorites. I also loved opening ceremony. I thought it was just a mm -hmm. little bit more grown up and sophisticated than than usual, and I loved it. Mm -hmm. Um, Philip Lim is always great. I don't know. There've been some great, really great um, wearable collections this season. I know. I wish I could wear all of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can. <laughs> <laughs> well, I probably could, but it definitely um, wouldn't look right on me. But I was really in love with Probel. I thought the makeup was so yeah. on point with the clothes. And it was it just lit. exciting. I thought it was something new. And I love when a designer um, pays attention to the details of the beauty. Mm -hmm. And it was just so major. I loved it. So oh, major. Beautiful. Yeah, and the makeup mm -hmm. at Rag and Bone, I don't know if you had a chance to see you guys, but the beautiful mm -hmm. bright coral lipstick. The yeah. clothes were great too, with the whole 90s twist and a little bit of sporty. It was great. And of course, Alexander Wang was amazing as usual. Um, I loved it. I loved how he kind of did that, like, all put his name, um, he logoed everything, but he did it. Yeah, so a, 90s. He did it in such a cool way, though. I thought it was very genius. I thought it, it was a cool mm -hmm. way to put his name on all the clothes without being distasteful. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, the laser cut Alexander Wang logo was really beautiful. What did you, did you guys like the big logo of like the sensor logo on that shirt too? Oh, you know I, I loved yeah. it. For I thought sure, it was a I great moment. It. That's going to get so much editorial coverage, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be a big one. Yeah, for sure. I already see Rihanna wearing it on the cover of something. Absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's exciting when you can see that though. Jo Joey, you're going to have to teach me how to do those fluorescent lips. Oh, for sure. Well, you're blonde, honey. Everything will look gorgeous on you. You could wear all yeah. the colors. Thank <laughs> you. What's going on back there, Jess? Oh, man, it is crazy over here. There are models changing and reporters and crew running around. and um, It is just absolute insanity. I'm so excited. We're getting closer and closer to the show. Um, actually, um, Right now, why don't we go ahead and look at some of the inspiration photos from the collection? For sure, I would love it. Can we get those up? <laughs> um, like the safari one. <laughs> well, anyway, while they while they get those up, Joey, why don't you tell me about some more of your favorite beauty looks that you've seen on the runway so far? You know, um, I feel like there were so many. A lot of people went really supernatural, like um, the DVF show. They just did like mm -hmm. a touch of a lip, which I thought was really gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, the Michael sh uh, Kors show was so major. I mean, look number three was like everything I want to look like in life, see-through, white, and cashmere. <laughs> I mean, it was so exciting. Um, it looked amazing on you, actually. But as, thank you. As far as beauty, I kind of love this, like, like a, it's almost like 50-50. A lot of people went super natural, like nothing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people went with like super neon, you know, um, very bright lip colors, which I thought was really cool. And what would you say is the trick to pulling off that, you know, the more over the top 
uh, makeup looks in real life. Like, can you wear like you know fluorescent lipstick during the day to the office? Is that appropriate? You know. What I we're... mean, you're asking me that for sure. <laughs> I want to stare at somebody wearing neon purple lips. Absolutely, you could wear that. Um, I just think you know you have to do it right. Just you know, I think if you're a more is more girl, then do it up. And I think if you're a less is more, then just do everything really clean and simple, and then wear like a neon purple lip. I think that's so chic. Totally agree. Um, so I want to share some of the inspiration photos for you. Can we get those up on the screen? Okay, great. Okay, so obviously, um, you know, these inspiration looks, like the, the collection is Modern Safari. So um, what do you guys think, what do you guys expect to see right now in the show? I mean, it's Rachel Zoe. So I expect to see a lot of really beautiful fitted jackets. Um, mm -hmm. There's definitely hats. In, yeah. There's definitely hats in there somewhere. Um, you know, I think I think what's cool about Rachel is that she loves everything about the fantasy of wearing clo of of fashion, but she as a designer, makes them very wearable, which I think is so awesome. Totally. Yeah. There's always great blazers and, um, you know, always that sort of 60s, 70s rock influence that, that mm -hmm. is so true to her. Um, but I love this, this first image. Yeah. I also love how she can take that era and make it super modern, too. That's just her, twist, you know, it's so wearable. Everything's so tailored and fits the body so perfectly because she's such a genius stylist. She knows exactly how a woman should be fitted, so you can always expect the silhouette to be so flawless. That's so totally true. She does make it so modern because mo most of the time when you think of 60s and 70s, you think how, like it's going to look like a Halloween costume, yeah. but she really, <laughs> yeah. she makes the energy of the clothes really feel like that's what it was in the 60s and 70s, and that's what I really love about it, too. It's cool. Yes. Right. Um, I actually, right now, um, I have one of my favorite bloggers who just walked up. She's going to come talk to us. Hi. Hello. This is the damsel in Dior herself, JC Dupree. Hello. How are you doing? I am great, thank you. Um, and tell us, how has Fashion Week been for you so far? It's been amazing. It's always a healthy dose of good inspiration. Um, and seeing a lot of garden party hues, a lot of pastels, yes. a lot of florals. Um, Art-inspired prints, so I'm really excited to actually be able to wear them in spring. <laughs> Woo! I'm excited too. Um, and do you want to tell me a little bit about what you're wearing today? I am wearing Rachel Zoe, this amazing, amazing leather top and skirt, um, and Zimmerman heels, and my new boy Chanel. Gorgeous. Love, love, love your outfit. Um, obviously, um, you are a fan of Rachel, the Rachel Zoe collection. You were in our studio a few weeks ago trying things on. Uh, are there any other favorite pieces that you have for fall? Um, out of her collection, absolutely. I mean, the entire collection is very um, English equestrian feel to it, and I absolutely love all the jackets that she's done and the buttons and yeah. every single piece of leather I want, like right now in my closet. I'm, <laughs> the collection's really great. It's versatile, it's transitional, and you can mix and match it really well. And, yeah. place, so. and what are you hoping to see on the runway today, from Rachel? Oh my God! I mean, anything that walks down that she's touched, I'm sure is going to be absolutely amazing. And I can kind of get a little sneak peek of a little here and there things, but I, uh, I don't know. I'm just looking forward to see what she's come up for spring. Spring's my favorite season, so um, I see that there's a lot of white in here. So I'm excited to see what that's all about. Yes, there is. Uh, well, thank you so much for talking with me. Love, love your site, and enjoy the show today. <laughs> Bye. Adore her. Um, and actually, right now, um, I see the man of the hour. Somebody I'm really excited to talk to. <laughs> Just give me one moment as he gets over here. I bet I could guess who it is. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be here in one moment, I promise. Here he comes, everyone, Mr. Roger Berman. Oh, looking sharp, wow. Rog. Were they throwing okay, so rose you, petals at your feet you, when you were walking? You can't see them, but they can see you. We're actually talking right now to your friends, Catherine Power and Joey Malou. Hi, JJ. Hi, Hi you look so Hi, Joey. Handsome. This is Zuzel. What's Hi, going gorgeous. on? Oh, and actually, sorry, you're going to be upstage okay, for just a moment because the woman of the life. hour is here. Here she comes. <laughs> That's the story Rachel of his Zoe life. In the building. <laughs> story of his life. Hi. Oh, okay. Hi, honey. So, um, oh my gosh, and look who is with her. Oh, hi, oh, boyfriend. I love him. What's going on? 
You, you can't see them, but they can see you. We're talking okay. right now with Catherine and Joey in L.A. Yay, yes, um, hi. Oh, Joey and Auntie Catherine are on the are, You can't see them, but they can hear you, baby. Hi, Stacey. Hi. hi. <laughs> oh, um, and they actually have some questions that they want to ask you. So, Catherine, what is your question for Rachel? Hi, Rach. How are you? Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. She can't hear you, but I'm going to relay okay. her question to you. Well, so I want to know, obviously, you know, Rachel lives in L.A. Um, yeah. with, with all of us, and um, even though she's from New York and, you know, Fashion Week is in New York, how does L.A. influence your, um, your line? I mean, living okay. in L.A. is so different. Yes. Okay, so Catherine wants to know how living in L.A. influences your collection. Oh my God! I think especially with this collection, it might <laughs> it might have the most LA influence in it because this. Uh oh, Auntie Catherine is asking a question, and Uncle Joey. It is mommy's. This is mommy's microphone. Okay, mommy, hold it. Okay, Catherine and Joey. This collection, I would say, is the most influenced by California. It's got safari. It's got sequins. It's got romanticism. I, live in I know you live in California. <laughs> Catherine is one of my muses, actually. Um, she is. I'm just saying. That's amazing. Um, so obviously, no one has seen this collection yet. But are you allowed to tell us what is your favorite piece in the collection? Um, what is your favorite piece in the collection? I have too many. I have too many favorites in the collection to actually name. But I would mm -hmm. say, I would say. God, I would say the sequin backless gown, the the slouchy trouser suit. It's Daddy's turn now. He said, um, "I would say the slouchy suitings, um, the white tuxedo." I have too many to name. <laughs> um, and I think actually, um, Joey has a question for you now. Joey, do you want to ask a question? First of all, tell her she looks so gorgeous. <laughs> she does. Yeah. Tell tell her she looks so gorgeous, and I wish she Joey could see how gorgeous. Joey says you look so gorgeous. And tell her I wish she could see how I gorgeous I love you. I, I love. miss you. You're here in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> so what's um, your question? My question to her is, did she have time to see any shows, and what were her favorites? Joey highlights. wants to know if you have had time to see shows, and what are your favorites so far, oh, your highlights? God. I've only seen a few um, very close friends. I saw I saw The Row. I saw Prabble. Um, I saw Victoria Beckham, and honestly, they've all been incredible. Al Jazeera, it's been an unbelievable season. Hard to say a favorite. Um, the row was pretty extraordinary. Prabhu was his best show ever. So um, it, was, it was, I don't know, it's been a great week. Great week. Mage. Oh, um, I just want to eat Skylar's face. I'm sorry. I just, <laughs> I want to play him. That's the only reason. Okay, so just a few more questions. Morning. Just a few more questions, and I promise I'll let you go. Um, Good. What don't people know about what goes into making a collection? Oh my god, I don't think people actually realize how much work and for how long it actually is. Because you see clothes on a runway and you see the beautiful girls come down the runway and it's a feeling and the show is only 10 minutes long, but it's like a wedding. You're planning and you're planning and you're designing and you're changing and as a stylist and a designer, it's like, I mean, I must change things a hundred times before it's, you know, born. Um, and the big theme for today is obviously modern safari. So uh, can you tell me what is the trick to pulling that look off every day? Well, I mean, I think the key as a designer is to draw inspiration and not make things so literal and costumey and things like that. So for me, this collection started off um, as modern safari, and then it goes into kind of romanticism and femininity, and then it ends in kind of a sexy rock and roll way. I can't wait to see it on the runway. Um, ah! Okay, and last question. Um, this is a good one. What is the most rewarding part of Fashion Week for you? Honestly, I would say the most rewarding thing, I don't know, there's so many parts. I mean, from the business side, it's seeing friends and going to amazing shows and really getting to be a stylist and, you know, because that's me at my core. Um, but obviously being a designer now, it's kind of giving birth to a collection every time and having my son here and Roger here and I don't know it's always a family affair and I don't know the most rewarding part I think is after the show and then just celebrating with my team and my family. Well thank you so much for joining us yeah. right before I love you too I know you're gonna kill it go out there and do an amazing job. <laughs> thank you. Love you. Bye love you. <laughs> Bye Sky Sky. <laughs> Yep. Okay, gotta go He's the best dress child.
Ever. Ever. In the world. In the world. I want to bite him. He's so Uh, cute. I can't. Okay, come over here. Okay, so... So amazing. We just got to talk to her moments before the show. Um, It's total insanity back here, so I'm actually going to move over to the beauty area um, and let, you know, Catherine and Joey take it over from here. Um, I'm sure, Catherine and Joey, I'm sure everyone would love to hear um, your thoughts on what it's like to watch your friend transition her career so drastically. Ooh. Yeah, well. You go first, um... Catherine. (laughs) No, I mean, it's so exciting just knowing, you know, how long she wanted this and how hard she has worked to get to this place. But it's, you know, it's inspiring for me as a a business owner to see her juggle, um, you know, not only this collection, but she still takes her styling, um, you know, position so, so seriously. And um, it's so important to her. So it's it's so impressive to see her balance that um, and with her family and really just mm-hmm. um, her ability to have built such an amazing, oh, amazing. team. Um, so overall, it's it's very exciting. I, but I, know, I think so too. It was like the magic of okay. her wanting to be the person she is today and you see there, it like happen. happen. It's amazing. Yeah, no, this is great. Okay, guys, so I'm back and I am so excited because I am standing with the gorgeous, gorgeous Charlotte Tilbury, who, is, <laughs> who I hung out with the other day. Um, she is the lead makeup artist on this show. So Charlotte, tell us a little bit about you know the look for today that we're going to see. Um, so the look for today, I mean, it was just so fabulous working with Rachel. I mean, you know, it's one of those looks where you literally, when we talked about before, it's like run Rachel to wheel way, yes. always the case of Rachel. So you always want to look like those girls. Yes. So um, it's modern safari was very much the brief given to me yes. by Rachel. And uh, the look is kind of like literally, if it, there was an icon, it would be Rosie Huntington Whiteley. Who wouldn't want to look like her, oh. right? Those gorgeous, like, stained yeah. lips. Um, so it, it, we're literally using a bit of a BB cream by Maybelline, mm-hmm. and we're using that as a kind of like one or two shades darker mm-hmm. in their skin, just to give them that kind of golden goddess glow. A glow. We're, we love a bit of golden goddess, because um, you know obviously everyone's back from their holiday. It's a couple of weeks mm-hmm. later. They're kind of getting a little bit paler, so we're putting back the kind of beachy tan into their skin. <laughs> yeah. We're getting a big fat bronzing brush with a little bit of uh, the bronzing powders, and we're dusting that on the forehead and across the cheekbones and the nose where the sun would naturally hit you. Oh, we're then taking a freckle pencil. In fact, it's not a freckle pencil. It's uh, an eyebrow pencil by Maybelline, and we're, but it's a perfect kind of freckle color. And we're just dotting that all the way across the nose, give you those kind of cheeky, youthful freckles. Um, so we're doing that all the way over the nose. And then we're using these three lipsticks by Maybelline. Um, and we're mixing them on, on. So I'm dotting them onto my hand, and I'm literally taking a finger like that and dabbing it. And starting in the center of the mouth and sort of dabbing it upwards and outwards. And that gives you that rosy hunt and whitely, very pigmented lip. And then we're taking the excess and just dabbing it on the top of the cheeks to just give you that kind of like cheeky little kind of flush cheek. Um, and it's very, and it's, oh, and then we're using Bad to the Bronze and Barely Branded cream eyeshadows all the way around the eyes, sort of just literally you could do it with your finger. So it's a really chewy, fresh, gorgeous look. She's totally modern safari heaven. I cannot wait to see it. Um, oh my god, I'm so, dying over here. It's gonna be made. Um, so, <laughs> so something that I think everyone would, you know, love to know is what is it like to collaborate with Rachel on a show? How is that? I have to say, for me, it's just heaven because, you know, it's like I literally feel like she's my kind of long lost sister. I mean, you know, that she's just we love the same thing. She's always like we're always going. Rock and roll Bridget Bardot is kind of like always my pin up. It's her pin up too. It's like to the hair and the eyes. And she's always because she's got such great style. Like I always run in, I always want everything she's wearing, and I always want half of the collection. I'm always being like, I'll pay for it now, whatever I have to do. And they're like, no, 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 don't worry. I'm like, no, I need these clothes now. Um, so we've got such a kind of similar sensibility that when, you know, in a way it's kind of such an easy language when we speak to each other. She's like, you know, Rosie's lips. I want it kind of like modern safari. I want, you know, this golden kind of glowing. And I'm like, yep, got it, got it, got it, got it. It's just such a, we have such a similar sensibility <laughs> and, uh, you know, level of taste that it's it's just such a kind of wonderful collaboration. We always just, all we do is like kind of giggle, laugh, and just love, and, and just share kind of mutual love, appreciation, fan club. <laughs> I feel like it's a match made in heaven. Okay. Yeah, I have one more question for you. Uh, yeah. Word on the street is you just launched a namesake beauty collection in the UK. And I want to know when are we going to get that in the States? Because. I know our Zoe Beautiful readers are going to love it. Very, 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 very soon, though. The demand has been incredible. Everyone's been asking about it. it it's coming, like, within months. 
Well, I cannot wait to try it out. Congratulations on your collection, Thank and you so much. you're welcome. And good luck today. I cannot wait to see your beauty looks come down the runway. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 She's so, she's oh my gosh, she is amazing. Okay, look who I have now. I'm so excited. It is the Vice President, Mandana. Hi, Joey and Catherine. Um, Hi. Someone, Hi. Uh, so, Mandana, tell me a little bit about, you know, what this collection means to you. Right now, it's my entire being, because um, the show starts in about 10 minutes. And, by the way, I tried Charlotte's makeup, and it's, the most amazing product I've ever used in my life. And if I had more than like 30 seconds to get ready today, I might be wearing some of it, but um, it's really good. The show is amazing. I think Rachel spent like an insane amount of time putting this one together. It feels so much like her. The music, mm -hmm. the hair, the makeup, the entire... I have a question for Madonna. It. It's, great. It's, oh. it's so... <laughs> Joey has a question for you. Go ahead, Joey. Mandana, how do you keep your bangs so perfect in all the hecticness of New York City Fashion Week? <laughs> Joey wants to know how you keep your bangs so perfect in the middle of Fashion Week. My best friend Joey Maloof has taught me amazing <laughs> tricks about keeping my bangs so amazing. And it takes a lot of dry shampoo, and I have to wash my bangs every day. Even if I don't wash my hair, I have to wash my bangs every day. Wait, Thank you for the question, Joey. As one of my besties, can Another you one. snag me one of those freckle pencils? I think me and Meg from Pop Sugar are into it. We want to like look I safari. Want freckles, guys. We Amazing. want that safari <laughs> realness of the freckles with like the rosy cheeks. We all want to look like rosy. Hello. Yes. Um, okay, I actually have another question for you, Mandana. Um, is are you you know allowed to tell me a little bit about what your favorite piece in this collection is? Are you allowed to talk about it? There is an amazing white leather story, and obviously I love leather, so it's so strong and it's so spring, and um, I think those are some of my favorite pieces, and there's an amazing denim dress that, I don't know, there were some like really cool edgy pieces that I'm really excited about, and the leather leggings this season have these crazy pockets, and obviously I love leather. It's really great. I feel like I'm going to want to own a piece of everything. <laughs> This is my favorite Sounds collection we've ever done, so I'm just, I'm so, and it's uh oh, person spring, down. So for me to love spring, <laughs> it's hard, because this is my spring outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I love that this is Mandana's spring outfit right now. Um, and are you How hot is it there? It is, today it's like 95 degrees. And I, I mean, and the like woman's like head to toe leather. Catherine, she yes. has like her barbecue outfit. Like she wears like patent leather everywhere. It's insane. Yes, she does. I'm nope. not wearing sleeves. So I, I saw a photo my, of you yesterday, Madonna, in a, in a and, fur and collar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so it's one last question. One last question, by the way. <laughs> yes. Um, I have one more question for Madonna, and that is, you know, what? Who are some of the muses for this collection and the inspiration? Um, who are the women, you know, that inspired the modern safari? I think that Rachel is always inspired by really powerful, confident, strong women. So I think that it's always. Her friends, Catherine is definitely one of her muses and girls that work in her office. I think she always looks at what you're wearing, Jess, and what all of us are wearing. And then I think it's all the boys, like Jane Birkin and Bridget Bardot and all of these amazing icons of the 60s and 70s, but just at different phases of their lives. So sometimes it'll be them in the summer or them on vacation. I think this is like her jet set, confident, modern woman on a safari, traveling, um, and it's amazing. Well, well, thank you so much for hanging out. I'll let you go because I know it's going to be crazy and you have things to get to. I have my nerdy headset and I'm ready for the show. Bye, guys. You rock it. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Madonna. Bye, Madonna. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's so annoying. <laughs> Look who's back. We have Mr. Roger Berman, the man of the hour. How's it going, Roger? Good. My, it's my other work wife, and she's so annoying. But I love her anyway. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Um, Great to see you. Uh, can you tell me, actually, so did Rachel style this on you, or did you pick it out and want to tell me about it? I picked it out myself. Uh, there's not much to say. What do you want to know? Details? Yeah. Like, how we long all did know it take for you to put that um, together? Dolce & Gabbana, obviously. Obviously. Um, Mark Jacobs tie. Nazis. Valley shoes. Well, you're looking dapper as ever. Um, I think Catherine and Joey actually each have a question they want to ask you. So, Catherine, what is the question you want to ask Robert? Easy one, Catherine. Easy, Catherine. Easy. Well, I'm, I'm, I, this is a very nice question. I'm actually really yeah. interested. I, I always love to know what what men think about. Roger, are you listening to me? Jess, are you listening? <laughs> Sorry, like, can you repeat it? <laughs> I'm not allowed back here. I'm always interested to hear what men think about, you know, certain aspects of fashion because really women dress for other women. 
So, you know, Roger's a great one to ask because he is so into fashion. What what are some of his favorite pieces from the collection that we should look out for? Yeah. Catherine wants to know, like the male perspective, what some of your favorite pieces from this collection are that we should be looking out for? Um, I think you sh I think I like You'll see some caftan, which I think people really want to see from Rachel, especially in springtime. Um, I think the um, perforated leather looks are really, really strong. That's obviously a big trend. Leather. We also add a lot of like leather trims to some of the other items, which give them a little bit more special feeling. Um, and I don't know. You'll see some like zebra, some like animal head to toe is sort of like a big trend this year, um, like pajama dressing. So you'll see some Any of that. So we're hitting the trends, I think. And I don't know, I think it's a very, very strong, very wearable collection. That's the key to this collection. It's going to be strong, but very, very wearable. Um, sorry, Catherine, what was that question you had? Oh, is there a specific look that he loves the most? Is there a specific piece you like the most? She's drilling you, man. Seriously, um, a specific piece I like the most. I think it's a perforated leather, white leather skirt. Perforated white leather skirt. You hear Great. that? You're ready to see it. Yeah, look Perforated. Up. That's a very fashionable word for you, Mr. Berman. Uh, <laughs> right. I think I think Joey actually has a question for Roger, and then we'll let him go. Oh, I have a really quick question. Dude. On a scale of one to ten, how annoyed was a Rachel this morning? <laughs> Joey wants to know on a scale of one to ten, how annoyed was Rachel with you this morning? She was mid to moderately annoyed with me this morning. Mid to moderate. We're, getting, we're so like getting along well, Joey. Mid to wow. moderate only. We're very That's amazing. It's all about the new baby. <laughs> Roger is very calm, it seems. Well, Maybe. thank you so much for joining us. Good luck. You're going to kill it. <laughs> Cannot wait to see it. Bye. All the luck Bye, in the world. <laughs> so we have another amazing, amazing woman um, who's been working on the Rachel Zoe collection, Miss Lauren Blakely, with me right now. Say hi. Hi. Hi, Jen. Hi. So tell me, how is it back there? Like, are you, you know, what's going on? Sweaty. It is chaotic, but it is awesome. Sweaty, chaotic awesomeness. I want to know why Roger's not sweating at all. Why does he look, he's like in a full suit and like his hair is perfect. I feel like I'm about to just like combust into like a big sweat. I know. He like wins the gorgeous <laughs> award. Yeah. He's always perfect. Yeah, somehow he always looks just like completely immaculate and flawless. Um, so tell me, you know, what can we expect from this collection? Um, this collection is definitely a little bit of a departure from past. It's edgier. We've been definitely moving in an edgier direction. So Rachel's taken this spring collection. It's somewhat ethereal, but also edgy and cool. You're going to see perforated leather and lots of cool kind of contemporary elements that maybe you haven't seen from us in our spring collection before. So really, really excited to see it go down the runway. Oh, I can't wait. We are getting so close to showtime, you guys. Um, and another question is, what is it like to work on a collection, you know, from absolute start to finish to the runway show? Like, how is that process? That's a good question. It's pretty amazing to start with an idea. So Rachel had an idea for 70s Safari for this collection. So it starts as a concept, and then we start to see sketches come to life. And, um, you know, looking at fabrics and different materials, and then first prototypes. So seeing the final look, so a perforated leather t-shirt that started as an idea and then a sketch and then actually seeing it on a model go down the runway is so exciting and um, it's the best part. It's like Christmas morning or Hanukkah mom. And, and how are you going to celebrate tonight? <laughs> um, we are going to go out and celebrate as a team and drink a little but not too much because we've got an early morning tomorrow. <laughs> but um, yeah, just have fun and relax now that well, when it will all be over and uh, hopefully revel in uh, the excitement of the show. Amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Good luck. I know you're going to kill it. I'm so excited to see you. <laughs> Um, there she goes, being swept away. Go. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> <laughs> They're, <running. laughs> They're literally taking people away from me. Um, okay, so now actually I want to show you guys a really exclusive sneak peek at some of the uh, sketches for the show. So if we could get those up on the screen. Amazing. Um, so what do you, Catherine and um, Joey and Meg, what do you guys think about these sketches? Oh, that's that's so beautiful. The short suit with the vest. It looks it looks very Rachel Zoe with that structured um, tailoring. Is mm -hmm. that sh yeah? That's really pretty. Is the short very short? Is it a very short short? <laughs> like that's what it looks like in the sketch. 
Oh, mm-hmm. I'm sure it's a very short short. Yeah, I'm sure <laughs> if Mandana had anything to do with it, it is probably that short. It's like probably really <laughs> short. And then the jacket is really long, probably lo- like a little longer in the back. And the vest is probably really cute and sleeveless with like four buttons and probably singes at the waist. It is very like, um, it's a it's a very Rachel Zoe on the top, and it's very mm-hmm. like kind of modern day girl would probably wear shorts as a suit on the bottom. I think it's really cute. Mm-hmm. It's, it's yeah, probably it's like actually very LA modern for Rachel. Like yeah, it is a I, really good West Coast look, isn't it? Just mm-hmm. yeah, very, very structured and tailored on top. Catherine would for sure wear that. Definitely. She probably would. That's such a KP outfit. Um, and Ooh, I then, love this. Uh, can we see? And can we see the next sketch now? Yeah, we're on this really cute oh, okay. safari mini with it's so you know classic. With the lace Beautiful. up on the front. Now, where would you girls wear this, Meg and Catherine? Oh, you know, to the farmer's market. Um, yeah, I'm going to to like a barbecue or um, to lunch. It was, it's super cute with little um, like leopard flats. Or you could do wedges, you know, for a little bit of a dressier look. It's, it's a total classic. I would totally wear this to like drop my nieces off at school for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and can we get the next sketch up? So this oh. is cute. This looks like a little uh, A-line skirt or maybe yeah. shorts. It looks and, like a uh, skirt almost, isn't it? It's like a slit in the front. Yeah, top. it's really cute. Another utilitarian sort of safari look. I love yeah. the structure of that boxy jacket too. That feels really modern to me. It's just cut right at the waist. Like yeah. yeah. I really like the pocket detailing too. It kind of gives it a very safari look. Oh, and I and think we have another sketch to show. <laughs> it's oh, like what? the white tuxedo short version of the of the black one we just saw, which is so chic. And it's actually a really good take on evening wear, right? Instead of like reaching for like the typical black dress or whatever you need for evening wear, it's like throw on this structured white suit, show off some leg, make sure you're wearing super high heels. Mm-hmm. I love and it the has idea. a cool of effect of the shorts, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, um, were we going to say the same thing, Catherine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now that we've seen all the sketches, um, let's talk about, you know, since we're at Fashion Week, I am curious to know, you know, what is you guys' most surreal Fashion Week moment? Ooh. Uh, ooh. So there's Good a question, moment. right? <laughs> One of my favorite <laughs> moments. <laughs> yeah. Um, like ever? No. Oh, like, like ever? ever? Or just this week? Like ever. <laughs> oh, I'll go first. Um... Last September, Rachel, I got off of an airplane in Paris, and Rachel literally rushed me to sit front row with her at Dior, and I was literally wearing pajamas. (laughs) So it was a very unforgettable experience. Ken Downing from Neiman Marcus was sitting across from me, and he looked at me like, what happened to you? Are you okay? (laughs) So I'll never forget that. But thanks, Rachel. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Amazing. And what about you, Catherine and Megan? Top Any that girl. Moments? <laughs> well, I mean, this week was really interesting. I was like backstage at Prabhu Garang while he was getting ready, and um, actually, interesting enough, Carly Kloss's shoes were sitting under her look, and you know, she wears mm-hmm. a size 10, but the shoes that arrived were one size 8 and one size 10. So mm-hmm. he was shoving her foot in the size 8 on the right side, and it just wasn't working, so they literally just pulled out a pair of scissors and cut the shoe apart, put the shoe on her, and glued the back of the shoe onto her foot. Wow. It was like a really funny moment because it happened so quickly and there wasn't like a pause or like, okay, cut the shoe, glue it on her, let's go, sit her down. You know, it's like (laughs) professional, (laughs) like shoe professionals. It was really funny. (laughs) I mean, anytime, anytime I have a run-in with someone like Oscar de la Renta is always an amazing moment. Just somebody with so much history and um, just such an icon in this world, that's mm-hmm. always when I, you know, have that moment where I'm like, this is what Fashion Week is about. It's, you know, these sort of designers that have created this whole experience for us all mm-hmm. to attend every season. Mm-hmm. It's just magic. I love the magic of Fashion Week. It's so exciting. And always seeing Bill Cunningham at the shows is like so yes. fun. Yes. You know, so cute. 
there's a sea of paparazzi bloggers and everyone's taking pictures, but as soon as he comes, everyone sort of just parts a little bit. And, you know, to make sure that everybody stops and make sure that he, like, you know, takes their picture. And it's just so nice. The old people, the old heads. Those are some really great answers, you guys. Um, and um, actually, Catherine, I have a question for you. You know, what is it like experiencing Fashion Week from home? You know, now are you just streaming all the runways live, catching up on Style.com? Like, tell me how that is. Yeah, no, it's tricky. Um, Hillary and I are separated this year. Um, we had a lot going on in LA this week, so I had to stay here, and she's, um, you know, in New York with our fashion director Lori Trot and our beauty director Britt Abotella, but. Um, I've been, you know, just keeping up through our Fashion Week hub on Who What Wear. Um, if you go to whowhatwear.com forward slash Fashion Week, um, it's a recap of kind of like, you know, we're streaming live shows, we're recapping our favorite looks. Um, so I've watched a lot of the shows um, on Who What Wear and, um, you know, I've been checking in with style.com. Um, you have to be super patient because the images are taking, everyone's trying to look at them, but um, yeah, I've just been, it's, you know, with the internet, it's amazing how, Joey and I were actually talking about that, how it's like, we're there, and you wouldn't even know we're not there, but um, we're able to keep up just as well um, by being here, you know, it's, it's a pretty amazing place that we're in right now. It's the beauty of 2013. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I'm so excited that after this pre-show, Rachel's live show is going to be streaming live on thezoreport.com because nothing yes, could is. be more exciting to me than the fact that I can't be there for my best friend, but I can feel like I was there because I'm watching it as it's happening. Yeah. If whoever's idea that was, thank you. I love you. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great answers, guys. Um, actually, I have another question that relates to uh, the Rachel's O collection is, you know, what I love about all of Rachel's collections is, that all, you know, all of the pieces are true wardrobe staples that you can wear to the office, that you can wear out, you know. Um, they're very versatile, very versatile. And I'm curious to know, you know, what are some of you guys' wardrobe staples? Oh, Catherine, um, you want to start? Sure. Well, for me, it's um, definitely a leather jacket, which I have on today, even though it's, you know, going to be about 80 today. Mm -hmm. um, but that, you know, <laughs> you can literally throw a leather jacket over anything. I think it is definitely one of the items every woman should have in their closet, whether it's something that's kind of edgy, like a motorcycle jacket, or something that's more refined and has less hardware. Um, it's mm -hmm. a key. And I think that's true for, for a men's wardrobe as well. So that's definitely um, my style. In L.A., um, it's a bit more casual than um, New York. So, you know, I wear a ton of jeans. So it's, it's really important for me to invest in really – well, you know, um, made and, and jeans that fit really well because um, I wear those constantly with a pair of, you know, pointy toe pumps. Mm -hmm. I, I would say my, I'm, a, I'm pretty sporty. So I like clothes that can transition from day to night and be day or night. So I, mm -hmm. I do wear a lot of black. I, I wear a lot of denim. A denim, uh, a denim button up is definitely something, or a chambray button up is definitely something I have a lot of in my closet. Like Catherine said, a leather jacket is a staple for a man or a woman. Um, and at night, I tend to love to wear like you know, sheer sweaters that I can layer on top of things, um, mm -hmm. and and I always a black blazer goes a long way and with jeans yeah. or anything. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm pretty. I like to keep things really clean and simple, but I love everything to look like easy and comfortable, and I can wear it whenever I want. Mm -hmm. and, and what about you, Meg? I don't know. I think we all can share our clothes at this point. I think we have such similar styling. We all have our leather jacket. I have mine on too as well. But one of my go-to pieces are a pair of leather pants. I wear them like I wear denim. I wear them all year long with t-shirts and sweaters. I wear them with sneakers and with heels. Um, I love masculine dressing too. So a, you know, a really strong blazer goes a long way for me. And I like to just try to keep it as easy and effortless as possible because California weather is, you know, it, it's so cool all the time. So it's, it's nice to just have really good staple basics. I can rock like a button-up white shirt almost every day of my life and feel very good about it. Cute. I think everything. I think one staple that everybody has in common is sunglasses. Yes. Oh, I think exactly. wearing the right sunglasses, like it could just make you so sexy in four seconds. It's all I about wish I would leave. 
<laughs> I wish I was wearing sunglasses now, to be honest with you. Here, I'll right do it back for here. you. <laughs> yes, I see it. Yeah, totally sexy. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's so instant. It just happened. Where did I park my Harley? <laughs> Very yeah. cute, Joey. Thanks. Oh, oh there's Rachel. Oh, there she is. Getting this so close to showtime, guys. Wait, who's um, backstage? Tell us everything. Have any celebrities showed up? I want to know who's sitting in the front row. Give me the gossip. What are you well, holding I'm back? I'm about for? to go. Find, I'm about to go find out. So actually, we have come to the end of our hangout right now. Thank you so much, you guys, for hanging out with me. Um, Thanks thank for you having us. Of thank course. You. <laughs> um, and this is actually, it's sad that we're at the end of the Hangout, but it's actually the best part. You guys don't go anywhere because we are about to stream the Rachel Zoe Spring 2014 show live, and I'm going to go take my seat, so don't go anywhere. Bye. Woo! Bye, you guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>